Dun, 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 dun. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to weekly Korean live class. My name is Kizun. 안녕하세요, Kizun입니다. 안녕하세요, Chimchim입니다. <laughs> yes, Kizun and Chimchim here. So thank you very much for joining today's live class too. Today's topic is ta -da -da, this July in Korea. Yes. <laughs> but before starting today's lesson, as usual, I have an announcement. So let me wait for a few more minutes, one minute, two minutes, <laughs> for more students to join this class. And in the meanwhile, I want to show you this. Ta -da! If you click the link in this, <laughs> if you click the link in the description, you will see a page like this. Ooh, what's this? Yes, this is our special live landing page. And if you click here and log in as a Korean Class 101.com member, you can download a lot of free PDF. Hmm, that's awesome. <laughs> this is a free PDF for Hangul worksheet. Yes, are you familiar with the Korean alphabet Hangul? If not, check out this free worksheet. By the way, if you cannot download this, that means you are not the member of Korean Class 101. Just sign up with your email address. Signing up is free. We do have paid membership, but you can ignore that. You can ignore our paid membership. Just with your free membership, you can download all of these materials for free. So please check it out. As you can see, there are tons of them, right? Ah, this is a lot! <laughs> So please enjoy my previous live lesson videos plus this lesson note for free. <laughs> okay, so let's start today's lesson. Yay! <laughs> so ta -da! this is today's topic. So what's happening in Korea in July? Hmm, maybe you want to travel in Korea in July, right? <laughs> it's because a lot of school has summer vacation and now you have time to fly to Korea and travel. Hmm. Then let me introduce what's happening in Korea in July so you can make your travel plan better. <laughs> if you can't travel this year, don't worry, you still have next year, two years later, three years later, you do have time. So first, how do you say July in Korean? Chan. The answer is 7월. 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 It's because first number seven is chil chil in Korean and wal means month. So in Korea, July is well is seventh month, right? In Korea, that's why we say seven month, seven months, which is chil wal chil wal chil wal chil wal. If you read letter by letter, it will be chil wal, but if you pronounce it quickly, it will be chil wal chil wal. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just talk about it, right? <laughs> if you didn't see my advertisement one minute ago. <laughs> Check out the link in the description. You can download this free uh, Hangul writing worksheet plus all of my lesson notes of free live lessons. Done. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the weather in Korea in July. Is it hot? Is it cold? What's the weather like? By the way, weather is 날씨 in Korean. 날씨. Ta -da -da! Yes. In Seoul, Seoul, the capital of Korea, the highest temperature on average is 29 degree. Hmm, I think it's hot, right? <laughs> it's pretty hot. And then the rainfall, it rains on average 13 days, right? Half of July is rainy, rainy. It's because in July, especially early July, there's a rainy season. So when you travel to Korea in July, please yeah, consider that. <laughs> Otherwise, you will always see rain in Korea. But don't worry too much. It's not like monsoon season in South uh, Southeast Asia. I know in monsoon season, it rains so much. But in Korea, it doesn't rain so much. The rains, rain is not so heavy, but it rains often. <laughs> That's it. Okay, let's look at Daejeon, Daejeon in the middle of Korea and 30 degree. Ooh, Daejeon is 30도예요. So it's pretty hot. <laughs> it's hotter than Seoul. Seoul보다 더 더워요. How about Busan? Busan, second biggest city in Korea. 
Busan is 28 degrees, and Jeju, the biggest Korean island, located South South Korea, is 29 degrees. Jeju도는 29도예요. By the way, 29도 is highest temperature, so it doesn't mean that it's always 29 degrees, so it should be lower than that. <laughs> so don't worry. But when it rains, the temperature falls. Temperature is lower. So uh, in July, it's sometimes very hot, and when it's not uh, sunny, then it's very often humid. So let's talk about it. Talk, let's talk about it. Chan, as I said, it's rainy season in early July. And rainy season in Korean is 장마. 7월 초는 장마예요. So it's a rainy season in early July. 장마, 장마. Because it's 장마, because it's 장마, it's humid. <laughs> 습해요, 습해요. It means it's humid, it's humid. 습해요, 습해요. It's because as you saw the temperature, the temperature is pretty hot. High. The temperature is high and it rains a lot, so naturally it becomes humid in Korea. So if, even though the temperature is not very high, it's like 20, the highest temperature is just 29 degrees, 30 degrees, but you might feel it's very hot because the, the air is very spare. 공기가 spare. So 공기가 spare. The air is very humid, so you feel it's even hotter than 29 degrees. <laughs> 습해요 and 습해요 since it's 습해요 what happens? 으으 <laughs> 곰팡이가 잘 피어요 곰팡이가 잘 피어요 곰팡이 it means mold it's a noun it mold like this 으으 <laughs> and 가 is a particle so it makes 곰팡이 as the subject of the sentence and 피어요 피어요. It literally means it blooms. It blooms like this. Flower blooms and mold blooms. Ew. <laughs> but for 곰팡이, we often use this verb. 피어요. Blooms. But in English, you don't, you don't use the verb to bloom. So I change to this. It gets mold. It gets mold. 곰팡이가 피어요. But I put 잘 here, right? 잘. Here, 잘 means like easily. So it gets mold easily in Korean is 곰팡이가 잘 피어요. So please don't put your food uh, on the table for a few days. You will easily see this 곰팡이, 곰팡이 on your food. 곰팡이, be careful with this 곰팡이. So you will need this. 제습제가 필요해요. 제습제가 필요해요. 제습제가 필요해요. 제습제 is dehumidifier. Yes, 제습제, like this. Or if there is even machine, right? 제습제, 가 is a particle, particle. And 필요해요 means to need, you need, or someone need. We need, I need, he needs, she needs, they need. So 제습제가 필요해요. In English, I need something. I need something. So something is the object, right? So a lot of my Korean learners often use the particle 을 and 를 before 필요해요. 을, 를 필요해요. Because I need something. The something is the object. Oh, so in Korean, I need to use the object marking particle, which is 을, 를. Right, teacher? Actually, nope. <laughs> Please remember 필요해요, use the particle 이, 월, 가. 이, 월, 가. As a lot of you already know, we use 이, 필요해요, we use 이 when a noun ends with consonant. Oops, oops, <laughs> oops, consonant. And when the noun ends with vowel, you use 가 필요해요. 가 필요해요. For example, mm, I need a book. What is book in Korean? Book in Korean is 책. 
책이 필요해요. I need a book. 책이 필요해요. 책이 필요해요. How about... 음... <웃음> 음... How about computer? Computer in Korean is... 컴퓨터. 컴퓨터. 어, 어. 어, it ended with vowel sound. So we use 가. 필요해요. I need a computer. 컴퓨터가 필요해요. 컴퓨터가 필요해요. So please remember 필요해요. The 짠, this verb use the particle 이, 월, 가. 이, 월, 가. Never, 을, 를, 을, 를. 부, 부, 부. Nope. <웃음> okay. So July is maybe not the best month. <laughs> In temperature wise, so weather wise, maybe it's hot, maybe it's too humid. <laughs> But instead, there are lots of events because there's a summer vacation and also a lot of people take a vacation. So, hmm. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Public holidays and events in July. Public holidays in Korean is 공휴일. 휴일 means holidays. 휴일 means holidays. 공휴일 means public holidays. And event in Korean is 이벤트. 이벤트. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, this is public holidays, yes, Constitution Day in Korean is 재헌절, 재헌절, 7월 17일은 재헌절이에요, 7월 17일은, oops, 재, 재헌절, 이, 재헌절이에요, <웃음> It's very hard to type keyboard with this <laughs> because the keyboard is pretty far. <laughs> 7월 17일은 재헌절이에요. It means July 17th is Constitution Day. So 재헌절 is a Constitution Day, and it used to be a public holiday. It is still public holidays, but we still go to work. We still go to school. So we don't <laughs> we don't rest on this day anymore. I think the law changed in 2008. Before 2008, it used to be a public holiday. So people loved it. <laughs> did we do s- something special on Constitution Day in Korea? Nope, we did nothing. <laughs> we just hang hanged out with our, we just hung out with our friends and did whatever we want, but it's not a holiday anymore. So <laughs> Why? <laughs> But anyway, 7월 17일은 재헌절이에요. And as I mentioned, a lot of schools start the summer vacation. Summer vacation in Korean is 여름 방학. 여름 방학. And 여름 means summer. 방학 means vacation. Oh, okay. My father takes Vacation, summer vacation. So is it taking 여름방학? 여름방학? No. Summer vacation, 여름방학 is only used by students. Students. Yes, elementary school, middle school, high school, university, only for school. So the 여름방학 is the vacation from school. And if you are a worker, Like me, <laughs> if you are taking a vacation, you never say 방학, 방학, vacation. It's for students only. For workers, you will use this word. 휴가, 휴가, it means vacation. And 철 means season. So vacation season is 휴가철. 휴가철, 휴가철. 7월은 휴가철이에요. July is Vacation season. Yes. So when you go on a trip, very often it's a peak season. <laughs> so it's crowded. There are many people. When you go to festival, when you go to hotel, very often it's fully booked. Fully booked. Or uh, the hotel is more expensive. So it's vacation season. So I honestly don't like traveling in July. <laughs> But I know a lot of people only can take vacation in July, so mm. <laughs> you should travel <laughs> in July. So, yes, 
uh, it's very expensive to travel in July and as I mentioned the hotel is fully booked it's crowded <laughs> but instead since that many people are traveling there are many events and festivals so yeah there are many things to enjoy that's good thing <laughs> 휴가철 and 짠 oh yes <laughs> before forgetting this if you just joined in the middle of my live class please don't forget to download this free hunger writing worksheet you can download for free in the link in the description teacher i already know how to write hangul then what should i do oh then there are many other grammar vocabulary expressions and a uh, language learning tips pdf yes there are a lot you can download everything from the link in the description so check it out <laughs> check it out only for korean plus one korean <laughs> class 101.com members we are giving away this free worksheet so sign up <laughs> so let's talk about food food yes i picked some umsik uh, common food in korea we called jaechol umsik jaechol umsik i'm not introducing some dish dish like we cook for some dish i'm introducing some general 제철 음식, 제철 음식. It means seasonal food, seasonal food. So what Korean people usually have in this July, this season? So this is one of the most popular Korean fruits in summer. <laughs> it's 수박, 수박. It's watermelon, 수박, 수박. Some people say it's a vegetable, but whatever it is. <laughs> I just want to introduce this because it's delicious. Subak, subak, watermelon. And chamwe, 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 Korean melon. You probably haven't seen this, right? I was super surprised when I traveled to another country because, well, I thought sub, uh, the, this chamwe. Chamwe is as common as subak in another country, but I couldn't find it. Oh wow! <laughs> so it looks like only Korean people eat this chamwe. Chamwe. So when you translate chamwe to uh, English word, maybe it will be like Korean melon. Korean melon. So what's the taste like? It tastes like melon. Yeah, it's sweet, but texture is like cucumber. <laughs> Can you imagine? So. The inside is white, a yellowish white, and it te the texture is like cucumber, but tastes like melon. <laughs> so to my Korean friends, I always introduce this as cucumber melon. <laughs> I think it's a good word, cucumber melon. Texture is like cucumber, oi, oi, <laughs> and uh, taste is like melon, melon, melon. Chame, chame is a very as Chame is as common as watermelon. Subak, subak. Done. And another common one is peach. Peach. Korean peach is very good. Please try it. Boksunga. Peach. Peach in Korean is boksunga. Boksunga. Boksunga는 맛있어요. Peach is delicious. <laughs> and this plum, I think in other countries, you eat lots of plum around summer right plum in korean is 자두 자두 and the same in korea too we eat a lot of 자두 자두 in summer season 자두 자두 and uh, <laughs> yes is uh fish is type of fish is 갈치 do you eat 갈치 a lot in korea yes we eat lots of 갈치 uh, fish, a uh, 갈치 food like 갈치 조림. 갈치 조림 is a common dish. So you uh, just cook 갈치 with some some little bit spicy sauce. <laughs> 갈치 조림. 갈치 in English is like hair tail, cutlass fish. Yes, 갈치. And in July in Korea, we common we commonly eat 갈치 because the around this season you can catch lots of 갈치 and the taste is good 갈치 
Next, I don't think you know this because I don't think I've tried this in other countries, but we commonly eat it as a side dish. Like, uh, we call it Toraji. Toraji. And the name of the dish that we commonly eat is Toraji. Muchim. Muchim. So it's just sauce. Sauced. Toraji. Sauced Toraji. And don't you think it looks really healthy? <laughs> it's very healthy. <laughs> so Toraji is 건강에 좋아요. So balloon flower root is very healthy. 도라지 is balloon flower root. The flower is uh, purple, blue, purple, and it looks like this. <laughs> it looks like this. Anyway, we don't eat the flower, but we eat this root. 도라지. Okay, then is anything to enjoy in July in Korea? Yes, of course. We have lots of festivals in July. And festivals in Korean is 축제. 축제. And I picked popular ones. Popular ones. There are tons of festivals. So please Google festivals in Korea in July if you are actually visiting uh, Korea. Because there are a lot. So I was like, what should I choose? <laughs> and definitely this is one of the most popular festivals in Korea. Which is 보령 머드 축제 보령 머드 축제 보령 보령 is the name of the city name of the city and 머드 머드 <laughs> is from the english word mud mud so mud from the soil <laughs> 보령 머드 축제 as i mentioned 축제 means festival so these festivals is happening in the uh, on the beach. So, uh, can you see the letter here? So it's 대천 해수욕장. 대천 is name of the place, and 해수욕장 means beach, beach. So in the beach, there's a mud, mud, and you enjoy the mud. There are lots of different fun events. There's like mud slide, and there's of course like mud fighting <laughs> or Mod, 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 a lot of things. <laughs> Every year they prepare something different, so please join it. I think it's good, it's good one, especially for foreigners, because as far as I know, I, yeah, I heard this uh, festival is super popular for foreigners. Of course, Korean people love it, and we go a lot, but there are many foreigners too. So, why do I have to go? Uh, I don't like mod, it's dirty, right? You know what? Mud is very good for your skin. Skin. 피부에 좋아요. Mud는 피부에 좋아요. So mud is very good for your skin. It's uh, rich in mineral. And mud is a popular cosmetic ingredient. So why Boryong uh, held uh, this festival? It's because Boryong produces a lot of uh, mud cosmetic ingredient for yeah cosmetics <laughs> for uh facial masks or even just a cosmetic like this <laughs> or facial cream <laughs> so this city produced a lot of mud so to uh, promote their mud ingredient they started this festival so 보령 머드 축제 do you see people here they're like ah ah yes there we put a mud all of our body even face <laughs> and then there are lots of events like uh yeah every year is different so i don't know what's, what they're gonna do this year <laughs> so check it out as you can see here finally 2022 they are uh, held, uh holding this in on 7월 16일, july 16th Ooh, nice <laughs> if you have planned to visit korea check it out and Another one that I picked is 부여 서동연 축제. Oh, I should put <laughs> space differently. 부여 서동 연꽃 축제. <laughs> so let me write again here. So it should be 부여 서동 연꽃 축제. 
So 부여 서동이 있어. Name of the place. Name of the place. So it's a 부여. 어, 부여 있어. Name of the city. Name of the city. And 서동 is name of the place. And 영국 means lotus. Lotus. And 축제 means festival. Here, there is the oldest artificial uh, pond. O oldest. I think it was made like really long time ago, like over thousands of years, thousands of years ago. <laughs> It's artificial pond there and there are lots of lotus. So if you like lotus, hmm, you can enjoy there. You can ride on the boat. You can enjoy the lotus. And as you can see here on the night, they prepare lots of light shows too. <laughs> lotus light. Yeah. <laughs> 부여 서동 영꽃 축제. 부여 서동 영꽃 축제. I don't know why I put space after 동연. <laughs> okay, and the next one, next one that I want to introduce is this. 대구 치맥 페스티벌. 대구 치맥 페스티벌. <laughs> I haven't been here. That's why I chose it because I'm curious. I want to visit there. Daegu is the name of the city, and Chimek, Chimek is a popular Korean uh, slang. So it's combination of two words: chicken and mekju. Chicken and mekju. Chicken, as you can guess, is chicken. So it's chicken soup and of uh, chicken. Some dish are all chicken. Everything, anything is chicken. Nope. In Korea, if you say chicken, chicken, that means it's fried chicken. So if it's a chicken stew, chicken soup, chicken something, then we don't think it's like chicken. We just say dak yori. Yori means a dish. Dak means chicken. So dak yori is type of dak yori, but we don't think it's chicken. Chicken is fried chicken. Yes, chicken. And we think mekju is the best friend of chicken because they, their combination is amazing. <laughs> That's They are so good <laughs> each other. <laughs> Mekju means beer, beer. So chimek means chicken and beer, chicken and beer. And festival. This is kind of new festival. Uh, I think they started 2000, 2000 something, <laughs> 2008. Wait, when was it? 2000, uh, 2013. <laughs> I remember the exact date, but. Yes, it's not a traditional Korean holidays, but Korean festival, but it, have, uh, it started quite recently, but this is pretty popular. When you go there, there are lots of chicken brands and you can have chance to try many different kinds of chicken and beer. There are, are kind of like concert too. <laughs> so it's back because it was on hold for two years because of COVID, but it's back. <laughs> Oh, it looks like July 6th until July 10th. If you're in Korea, enjoy <laughs> Daegu Chimek Festival. <laughs> okay, so this is what I prepared today. And if you want to download this PDF or this free Hangul worksheet or all my previous lesson notes, please check out the link in the description so you can download lots of PDF of my previous live lessons. Enjoy. <laughs> and of course, I'll be back next week. And the topic for next week is who? Oh, grammar lesson. I know grammar lesson is very popular, right? And next week, I'm going to introduce this. This is, oh wow, this is super popular when we speak. When I speak with my friends, I'm sure I use it every day. Mm, it's a really popular ending. So if you want to <laughs> understand Korean, then you definitely need to know. I'm 100% sure if you watch Korean drama, Korean movie, you will find this grammar. Well, I'm, I'm 100% sure. <laughs> so it will be July 14th, 7월 14일 at 1pm in Korean time. Yes, 1pm in Korean time. So which means the time will be different in your country. So make sure to check out your clock. So join the live on 1 p.m. in Korean time. So I'll see you next week. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining uh, today's live 
<laughs> Thank you very much for joining today's live class too. It's very good to see you guys and I'll talk to you next week. 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. Bye bye. And 침침 오수 say bye bye too. Bye bye. 감사합니다. <laughs>